Peter Cook, we want to bring you into this. You're down there in Washington, and I know you've been also tracking uh, the situation in Greece. We've been hearing somewhat, too, from the administration. Well, I've been hearing more importantly from uh, someone, a key member of the Federal Reserve, Carol. It's uh, not every day you see a tumble like this in the markets and you witness it with a sitting member of the Fed's Open Market Committee. But that's exactly what happened to me today, this afternoon. I was getting ready to record an interview with Tom Honig. He's the president of the Kansas City Fed. He's been the notable dissenter within the FOMC over the last three meetings, dissenting over the Fed's language, the extended period. We watched as the market tumbled. I asked him about the situation in Greece at the beginning of our interview. Interview. Obviously, he didn't have all the facts in front of him. We didn't know everything we know now about what perhaps may have played into the sell-off. But uh, again, I asked him about his concerns that Greece could spill over onto our shores. Here's what he had to say. We're at least ourselves recovering. That's a, that's a plus. Uh, and then we have to watch this very carefully in terms of how it affects our markets, as we're seeing as we speak, uh, and let that hopefully settle out and have confidence that our economy is on a little different footing. Again, the basic impression I took away from my conversation with Tom Honig was, one, he thinks the U.S. economy is recovering, perhaps a pace of recovery that is even stronger than many people had, had expected, uh, Tom Honig included. He expects the number tomorrow, the jobs number, to be positive. And again, he doesn't, didn't know everything about the Greek situation, was uh, very hesitant to comment specifically on what's playing out in Greece, other than to say that the U.S. comes into this situation with uh, an economy in the mode of recovery, and that uh, if nothing else, should be reassuring uh, to folks in the markets. Again, this is not a perfect recovery by any means, but Tom Honig is encouraged by what he's seeing right now in the economy.